Okay, let's have a look at the first one. We've got 16,483 equals 8,945 add something. Can anybody tell me what the something is? Is it a part or is it a whole Ryan? Um, it's a part because the 8,000 is a part and then you add another part which makes the whole. Excellent, yes, because when we do an addition, the whole is always going to be an answer. So let's just check my pen is working. And I'll just draw a quick uh, bar model just to show you what Ryan's just said there. So because we know in an addition calculation, two parts are gonna make a whole, we put our 16,483 there, our 8,945 there, and we know, looking at our bar model, what kind of calculation, what operation are we gonna have to do to work that out, Abby? We're going to have to do a takeaway to find a part, aren't we? Well done. So, who can tell me what I'm going to need to do? If I put it on the board like this, who's ready to do it for me? Matthew, start me off. You need to do three takeaway of five, what you can't do. So you right. need to change from the eight to make the eight a seven. Then you need to put the one on the three. And what's that one worth? Uh, ten. Yeah. It's 13. Excellent. 13 take away 5 is 8. Excellent. And then we need to do 7 take away 4, that's 3. And then 4 take away 9, what we can't do. Can I just ask you, Ryan, it's not 4 and 9, uh, Matthew, it's not 4 and 9, it's what? What column are these digits in? Oh, 100. Yeah, so it's 400 take away 900, but we can't do that, so what are we going to exchange? The 6,000. Brilliant. To a 5,000, and then we need to add another. A 1 and a 4 and it is 14. Take away 9 is 5. 5. No, is that my right? Yeah. 5. 5 what? Oh, and then we need to put. 5 what? 500. Yeah, good man. 5, take away 8, is what we can't do again. So we need to exchange from the 1 to make it a 0. Uh, uh, 10,000 to make it 0, and then 15. And 15, take away 8 is. Seven, so put it to seven thousand. So the answer is seven thousand five hundred and thirty-eight. Okay, I'm just got that right. Fantastic. Well done. Right, let's have a look at the next one then. Let's just undo all of that. It's going to be an easier way to do this. Right. Um, so let's have a look at the next one then. Three thousand eight hundred thirty-one equals something. equals something, take away 9,649. Who would like to tell me whether we're missing a part or a whole this time? Anthony. We're missing a whole. Right, come on Anthony, explain to me how you know we're missing a whole. Um, because the whole is always before the takeaway sign. Right, whole always goes before the takeaway sign because when we do a takeaway, we have to take a part away to make a part as an answer. Good answer. Let's just double check that using a bar model. Where's my pen gone? Let's just get that back up. So, if we're missing a hole, which bit am I leaving blank this time if we're putting this onto a bar model, Abby? The top bit. The top bit. And then we've got our two parts down here. So 9,649 here and 3,831. And those two parts, as Anthony's just told us, make the whole. So what operation am I doing, Leo? We're going to do an addition calculation this time. So I'll get this on the board and I'm looking for somebody to tell me exactly what we need to do to make sure we get it right. Okay, who can tell me what we're going to do? Eeny, meeny, miny, time. Uh, nine, nine add one is ten, so it's zero then. Put the one down there. Put the one down there? Uh, and where? Will you be specific, Ty? Can you tell me exactly what I'm doing here? In which column? Oh, oh, under the tens column. Under the tens column. I'm going to put it, we're going to carry it over to the tens column. Thank you. Okay, what am I going to do next, Ty? Uh, add, uh, add four. Uh, that's seven. Add, add what two digits together? Four and three. Try that again. Yeah. Look at somebody else, Charlie. Forty add thirty. Forty add thirty, which makes... 70, then we add the 10 to make 80. Good stuff. <coughs> what do we do next, Molly? God, I need to be awake. 
pardon. Shout it. 600 and 800, which makes... Think about it, it's two even numbers. What do two even numbers added together always make? Who can help her out here? What do two even numbers always make, Olivia? Three even numbers, make an even number. 13's not an even number, so come on, what's it going to be? Of course, it's going to be 1,400. Absolutely. So we put the four here. Where do I put my 1,000? Carry it over to the thousands column. Do the last bit for me, Molly. Twelve thousand, and then anything else? We've got to add the one thousand on here, so we've got thirteen thousand. Thirteen thousand four hundred and eighty was the answer there, Hans. Have you got that right? Brilliant. Right, well done. Right, who can do the next one for me? So we've got 60.1, sorry, 60, yeah, 60.1 times, whoops, times something equals 60,100. Who can tell me what we're missing there and how do we work it out? Maisha. You think the missing number is 1,000. Would you like to explain to me how you work that out, Maisha? that explanation again, Maisha, a little bit louder. Tell me what you did first of all, now we've got our columns in. Okay, so it's not just 60, 60.1? 60 yeah. Okay, right, so we've put 60.1 in the correct columns, then the tens, the units, the tenths column. Go on then, tell me what you did next. What did you write in next? Pardon? Yeah, but if you didn't know you were times and by a I know you probably saw that really quick, but just to explain to anybody who might not know, what would you do next? If you if you hadn't worked it out straight away in your head, what would you do? Samaya? You'd write 60,100 in. So there's our 60,100. And then, what can we tell from that, Samaya? That we're What's moved up three columns? The six digit has moved up one, two, three columns. So what does that tell us we've moved up by? I'll go back to you, Maisha. What, it's been multiplied by a thousand. How do we know it's one thousand in the missing number? How do you know? Thousands got three zeros. So when we multiply by a thousand, those three zeros come in and push the digits up three columns. Well done, good team were there, girls. Right, what about the next one then? What about the next one? Um, 87,500 divided by something equals 0 0.875. Let's spin that again, two seconds. <coughs> okay, who can tell me what to do here? Erin, let's wake you up. What, can, what am I going to do first? Oh, so I'm not quite managed to wake her up. We'll come back to her in a minute. Abby, what am I going to do first? Um, you're going to write 87,500. 87,500. Okay, so I'll put that one in. What am I going to put in next? Um, you're going to put in your 0 0.875. 0 0.875. So let's have a look. How many columns has this eight moved down? We've gone one, two, three, four, five columns down this time. Five columns down this time. So what has it been divided by if it's gone down five columns? Olivia. 100, how do you know it's 100,000, Olivia? Five zeros. Because there's five zeros in that number which tells us that the digits are going to be pushed down five columns. Hands up if you got that one right. <coughs> Very good. Very good indeed. 
Let's do the very last one. Our fractions problem. What's the problem, or what's making going to make this fraction one a little bit tricky to do? What's going to make this a little bit tricky to do? Our takeaway fractions problem. Ellie. Can't take away three from seven. We can take away three from seven. Are you sure that's what you meant to say? Anybody help her out? What can't we do that's not so easy to do? Rewait. Seven take away three. We can do seven take away three. What can't we do? Three take away seven. Yeah, we can't do three tenths take away seven tenths. So what are we going to have to do in order to be able to do? Take seven tenths away from one and three tenths. What am I going to do, Owen, to make that so I can do it? Because that what the big one boy yeah. is, means ten. Right, can you just explain to me? Because what do you mean it means 10? 10 what? 10 tenths. It's the same as 10 tenths. Excellent. It's a full set of tenths there. That equals one whole. So how is that going to help me, Owen? So you add that 10 onto the 3 to make 13 tenths. Yeah. Because it's 10 tenths. Fantastic. What kind of fraction have we just made? Row 8. We've made an improper fraction now from a mixed number. And now we can do our takeaway calculation. Because when we take away, what always stays the same? When we take away or add our fractions, what always stays the same, Joshua? The denominator. the denominator. So we know it's going to end in tenths. And now we can do the takeaway with our numerator. So what is our answer going to be? Robbie? Five more ten. Two seconds, I think there's a few people Five. shaking their heads. Ten. Think about it. Thirteen takeaway seven, Robbie. Well corrected. Six tenths. Tell you what, I bet some people didn't put that as a final answer. What might some people put as a final answer, I wonder? Anthony, your hand shot up there. Three fifths. Why would you change that to three fifths? What have you done there? How did you know you could do that? You've simplified it. So if I, what have you divided it to by each part by to get to three fifths? And two. Two. Excellent. Well done. Three fifths. Good man. Excellent. Well done. Give yourselves a mark out of five. Okay.